In this video, we're going to look at Pythagoras' theorem and using it to solve problems. In particular, in this video, we're going to look at rectangles and isosceles triangles, so using it in those two scenarios. Okay, here we have got a football pitch, and on the football pitch, you have got that the length of it is 120 meters, and the width of it is 80 meters. And we're going to find the diagonal, the length of the diagonal, from one corner flag to the other corner flag. Okay, now as you may notice, this is a right angle here. So that means we've got a right angle triangle, so we can label the sides. Obviously, because it's opposite the right angle, this is going to be the hypotenuse, let's label it C. The shorter side, let's call that one A, and this one, uh, the 120 meters B. Remember, it doesn't really matter which way you label the and B, but they have to be the two shorter sides. So we write Pythagoras' theorem, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And then we're going to substitute in the numbers, so let's substitute those numbers in. So we have got A squared, so it's going to be 80 squared plus b squared, which is 120 squared, equals c squared. So we then square those numbers, so get your calculator and square 80, so 80 squared is 6,400, so 6,400 plus 120 squared is 14,400, and that equals c squared. And you just add these two together, so that will give you 20,800, and that equals c squared. And then obviously you want to get rid of the squared, so you're going to square root both sides, so the square root of 20,800 equals c squared, or equals c, and then you square root that, and you get c is equal to 144.2 meters to one decimal place. So that means we have used Pythagoras' theorem to work out the length of the diagonal of this uh, football pitch. Now this could have just been any uh, normal rectangle where they give you the length of the rectangle and the width of the rectangle. It could also be a square where they give you the length of one of the sides because on a square remember that if you had a square that the two sides would be the same so you could just use Pythagoras' theorem that way. But any type of square rectangle where you need to work out the length of the diagonal you're going to use Pythagoras' theorem. We're now going to look at isosceles triangles. So here we've got an isosceles triangle. It's got two sides of the same length and it has got uh, two angles of the same size as well. The base is equal to 6 centimetres and the length of the two sides of the same are equal to 14 centimetres. And we've been asked to work out the perpendicular height of this isosceles triangle. In other words, the, the distance from the base to the highest point, okay, so the perpendicular height. So whenever you're doing that and you've got an isosceles triangle, what you're going to want to do is to cut it in half. You're going to want to bisect it into two right angle triangles. So we go to the top, we just cut it in half like so. Okay? By doing so, we've now got a right angle here. That means that we have got a right angle triangle, and we can then therefore use Pythagoras' theorem. So if this base was 6 centimeters and we've bisected it, we've cut it in half, that means it's now going to be 3 centimeters down here. The length of this diagonal is equal to 14 centimeters. And the height is what we're trying to find. Let's call it x. Okay, so let's label our sides. The side opposite the right angle is the biggest side. So the longest side is equal to 14. So that's going to be our c. And the two shorter sides are a and b. I tend to call my shorter side a. So that looks like the 3. And my um, middle side b. Okay, but it doesn't really matter which way you label the a and the b. Okay, so write Pythagoras' theorem. So it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Then, what you're going to do then is to substitute in the numbers. So, a is equal to 3, so 3 squared, plus b is equal to x, so x squared, equals c squared, which is equal to 14 squared. Okay, so let's square our 3 and our 14. So, 3 squared is equal to 9, plus x squared is equal to 196. Now, we want to find out what x is, so we want to get rid of the 9, and then we want to get rid of the squared. So, to get rid of the 9, we're going to take away 9 from both sides of the equation. Taking away 9 from both sides of the equation will leave you x squared equals, well, you're going to do 196 take away 9. So x squared equals, whenever you do that, you're going to get 187. Then you want to work out what x is, so you're going to, you're going to want to square root both sides. So you're going to get x equals the square root of 187, which equals, whenever you do that, you're going to get 13... 13.67 and so on centimeters. Well, that's going to be equal to 13.7 centimeters to one decimal place. 
to one decimal place. Okay. The question then says, find the height of the, or find the area of the triangle. So to find the area of the triangle, remember the area of a triangle is equal to half base times height. So the base is equal to six. So we're going to do half times six times the height. And the height, well, I'm actually going to use my full calculator display that I've already got on my calculator. Actually, it's, it's better to use the more accurate version. So I'm going to times it by 13.67, so on. Okay. So it's half the base, half of six times 13.67. So half of six is three times by 13.67, just work that out. And I've got an area of 41.02 centimeters squared to two decimal places. Just remember that whenever you want to use your answer to then do something else, you want to try and use it as more as accurately as possible. So instead of using the 13.7, which is rounded and then using a rounded number, I would try to use a few more decimal places, okay, or if you can use your full calculator display within this sum to do so. So to work out the area of the triangle, you just you found out the height then, so it's easy, it's just half base times height. So if you've got an isosceles triangle and you want to find the height, you're going to use Pythagoras' theorem by splitting it in half. If you want to find the area of an isosceles triangle and you know the length of the diagonal and the length of the base, you would need to split it, find the height by using Pythagoras, and then do half base times height. 